What's up, guys? It's Stealth here, and we are back in uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Let's talk to Candorus, because that was something he had to go through. I... I think this has affected me in ways I, I didn't anticipate. I think I'll need time to sort things out. Thanks for what you did. Whatever your intentions might have been. I just need time. That's alright. I'll talk to him later. Jolie, what about you? Got something. Nah. Oh. Or is that That's actually a line of something? Bad, bad men. Women too, to be fair. I guess it is a line of dialogue. I didn't think it was. You must know more than that. Oh, indeed. They make a fine sandwich also. <laughs> but don't tell the Jedi Council I said that. You're being elusive on purpose. <sighs> and just what gave you the impression that I know anything more about the Sith than you do? You did. You said you fought them. Oh, that's right. Damn the years of the young. I was expecting you to be your usual inattentive self when I mentioned that. So it's true, yes. I fought plenty of Sith. That was during the time of Exar Kun. Oh, 40 years ago now. Has it been that long? Are these Sith the same ones that followed me? No, no, of course not. The Sith have come and gone for ages. They were not called the Sith many thousands of years ago, perhaps. But the dark side was always present, without a doubt. Oh, sure, occasionally the light side comes close to vanquishing the dark. But the dark always returns. The fact that Exar Kun was defeated didn't mean the Sith would never return, as they obviously have now. Everyone knows that. Okay, so who's this Exar Kun? Uh, Exar was a Jedi who was corrupted by ghosts of the old Sith, or so they say. He attempted to conquer the Republic and create a new golden age of the Sith. Sort of like Revan, or me, rather. I assumed he was killed? Better to say he was defeated, but essentially, yes. The victory did not come easily, however. So, um, what happened during the war with him, then? That is not a pleasant time to remember. After Exar Kun fell to the dark side, he attempted to recruit other Jedi to his cause. What surprised us, what took us completely unprepared, was how utterly successful he was. Many Jedi joined him and became Sith themselves. Why they did, I... I will never truly know, but they did. Battle broke out throughout the Order, pupil against a master. We fought ourselves. Ah. Uh, it must have been difficult. Yes more than difficult, next to impossible. How do you fight against someone you love? <laughs> I dislike such memories. It leaves a taste in the mouth that... Uh, it is a sadness I thought I'd put aside long ago. Ask me about the war some other time, just not now. I would prefer to be by myself for now. Man. Alright, well, we have Juhani's thing to take care of, because, again, I won't get a chance to do all these other, like, side missions with everybody. Back to Korriban. I swear, every time it's the Korriban. Every time. Although I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, it is the freaking planet of the city. So... Yeah. Hey, stop that. One more, come on. This is a shame you don't get to do this as much in the next level too. Oh my gosh! Is he just gonna die? Oh, my mouse! There we go. Alright. One last character thing, because T3 doesn't have any emotional baggage. I'm pretty certain he's just an astromech. And we took care of everybody else. Everybody else has got their stuff sorted except for Juhani. We have to get her sorted and then we'll be good. Let's take Karth with us because we need to make sure he has his blaster on him because I tried to unequip it from him. Which was... Hello? There she is. Get her, man. But remember, don't kill her. Okay, well, considering I didn't see you when everything faded out, I did not know you were a Twi'lek, but I could have sworn you were a human. Ha! 
Now these are probably taking care of Juhani's thing. Well, hang on a second, Karth, you still need your gun. Because somehow, again, you got another blaster. You need rapid shot, huh? Equip this for now. I'll sort out the other problem. Don't worry about it. Not bad, Car. When you level up, I'll be certain that heat is what you're gonna get. You seem to have defeated me, Cat there, Worm. But I'll have the last laugh in the end. What do you mean? What do you mean? You may have killed me today, but I had the pleasure of killing off your species. Not everyone who fought alongside the Mandalorians did it for their stupid concept of honor. <clears throat> Some of us just did it for the pleasure. The pleasure of seeing your world burn. You, you animal, you wretch. I'm beyond your petty vengeance now, girl. You can never have your revenge. Don't give it to the dark side, Juhani. Just, it's not worth it. I will not give him the satisfaction of seeing me give in to the dark side. Worm, I killed your people on Cathar in the sky. <clears throat> on the ground. In their homes. I hunted them down like the animals they were. <laughs> Just to see them burn. But the treacherous beasts fought back and left me with injuries that meant I could never fight again. <coughs> or so they thought. Stop trying to provoke her. No, I will not give in to him. I ended up in the lower city of Taurus, and what did I find? <laughs> A few of those stinking beasts living there. The mayor was easy enough to best, but the females proved elusive. I didn't know what happened to them after I killed the male. <coughs> Until I saw this cursed woman on the auction block. But then the Jedi came and ruined everything before I could have my revenge. <coughs> you. You killed my father. You killed my people. You, you treat us like animals. You deserve to die. Don't give in. You're stronger than this. Give in and embrace your hate. Better than me. You're nothing. I, I, I. Don't do it. Uh, help me, please. Do not let me give into my anger again. There is no emotion. There is peace. No, I will not do this. He may die, but it will not be out of my vengeance. You coward. You weak. <laughs> Okay. That's cool, bro. Well then. Alright, we took care of all the baggage of all of our crew members. Finally, that took forever. Alright, let's just talk to people. Candorous. Yeah, what do you want? Ooh, okay, tell me, about, uh, tell me about when you worked for Davik. Working for Davik was like driving a spike through the side of your head. Sure, you got something new in there, but in the end, you've lost something as well. Beating up people who wouldn't or couldn't pay, strong-arming his competitors, killing who he said. It was busy work, nothing decent. You were an assassin then, huh? Assassin, mercenary. Those are names people give guys like me who do the killing to make us seem better or worse in their eyes. I've killed many people. I can't say I'm proud of it, but I have. Criminals, competitors, businessmen, police, women, children. Jedi were a better challenge. But they hardly ever poked around in the Undercity. Until you came along. But I never wanted to challenge you. Never felt the need. Maybe I knew I couldn't win. Just like all those years ago. Mm, I guess a wise decision, I guess. Ugh, I just said it twice. Why'd I do that? Yeah, probably. <laughs> you probably would have beaten me again. Maybe you would have. But you're not who you were back then. I can tell. You've changed. And maybe I have to. 
I remember a time when I could do anything I wanted. Kill, maim, murder, it was all the same to me. But now, now that I am older, I can look back and regret. Over what? I look back and regret all the chances I had as a warrior. And then all the chances I've had since then. I, I shouldn't be getting like this. Not when so many other things are happening, but... It feels like... Like something has changed inside and I don't know what it is. Ah, this is unbecoming a warrior. Let's get on with everything before I start getting sentimental or something. Is there something else you want to know? No. Your choice. Yeah, what? Your. So, is there you telling me there's. Oh, you're right. I need to talk later with Candace about Joggy. Jolie? You got something on your mind, do you? You want to talk about the war now? Not particularly. No time like the present. I suppose you're going to nag me until I cough it up, aren't you? Nothing is private anymore, it looks like. <sighs> There's no escaping it, I guess. So be it. My wife's name was Nayama. She was the Ukadis enforcer who shot me out of the sky, if you remember. Uh, what does your wife have to do with the war? My wife had plenty to do with the war. Upon meeting her, I knew right away that she was strong in the force. That's why she was able to shoot me down. Nayama was a marvel of a woman. Fiery, determined, smart. She dragged me to the capital and foiled three of my attempts to escape prison. Oh, and that body. Um, the war? Well, yes, that. <clears throat> Needless to say, I eventually won her over. That was after I kidnapped her upon being broken out of the Yukata's prison, mind you. But, uh, that's another story entirely. At any rate, I wanted to train her in the Jedi way. The Council refused my request, naturally. I was still a Padawan at the time. I was an experienced Padawan, surely, but not yet ready to be a full Jedi, and certainly not ready to train another, especially not one so old as my wife. I'm gonna guess you disobeyed the Council kinda like I did. I did. I wasn't the first and I won't be the last. The problem with self-righteous folk is they think they're more right than everyone else. I believed in her and trained her in secret. I ignored her willful nature. I loved her too much to see fault in her. And she loved me too. I know she did. At the time, our love was a shared bliss. Better than anything I had known before or since. So, uh, what happened? Exar Kun is what happened. Nayama was inspired by Exar's promises of a new golden age. She wanted to join him. She came to me, pleading with me to throw aside what she called the decrepit trappings of the Jedi. To join her in Exar's war. Did she fall to the dark side? I hadn't thought so. Not right then. I was too proud to believe that of her. I had trained her myself. I loved her. I pleaded with her to reconsider to think about all that she was throwing away. To think about what she would become. She would have none of it. Finally, in frustration, she attacked me. She drew her lightsaber and attempted to strike me down. It was a scene being repeated everywhere throughout the galaxy. Pupil against master. In my case, it was a long and terrible battle, but I defeated her. Did you kill her? No, no. I had her at my mercy, disarmed and defenseless. She looked up at me and she knew. She knew I couldn't do it. But I don't think I could have either, to be honest. But I should have. Sometimes I convince myself otherwise, but it's no use. She had fallen to the dark side when she raised her saber against me, and I let her go. To my shame, she went on to kill many Jedi during the war, until she herself was slain in the final battle. I grieved for her death, inevitable as it was, even as the Jedi Council put me on trial for my actions once the war was over. They put you on trial? I had trained Nayama against their wishes. I had failed to kill her when I had the chance she went on to kill others. Not to mention that I had remained a Padawan throughout the war. A formality, perhaps, but with the trial, it had to be decided if I was worthy to become a Jedi at all. It was a travesty, of course. I told you that even the Jedi were capable of great injustices, didn't I? The Jedi are always fair and merciful. I mean, they gave me a second chance, and you know who I am. But I deserve to be tried. They found me innocent, even though I... 
deserved every punishment and more. They let me go. Mitigating circumstances, they said. I deserved compassion, they said. They said I had learned wisdom the hard way. For all I had done during the war, they wished to raise me to full Jedi status at long last. That, that was when the Jedi left me. That was when they failed me. Uh, I don't understand. No, maybe you don't at that. They may have been able to forgive me. I could never forgive myself. And you still believe what love was worth the risk? I... yes. I do, I suppose. Does that surprise you? Uh, it is all so long ago. Lost in the winds, I suppose. Nobody cares what an old man believes anymore, do they? Let's continue on with the task at hand. I would prefer to think of the present today. Now, there's still more I can talk to you about, old man. Johnny? That man was a beast! A monster! I am glad that the galaxy is now rid of him so he may not harm others again. I do regret, though, that he did not die by my hand. It would have been wrong. I know. But must I always fear the lure of the dark side? It was for the best. I am glad that you stood by my side during this. We should continue our journeys now. No reason for staying here for this. Uh, How may I anything else we could talk about? What did... Nothing, oh, yes. Man, there's still... Oh, right. There's a few of these quests that we didn't turn in. Oh, well. That's fine. Got something. Nothing you can talk to me about? Okay. Well, that looks like this is gonna be it for this video. When we come back, it's off to the Star Forge. Probably we'll talk with our teammates a little bit more, but then we'll get to exploring the final areas of this game. See you all in the next video, guys.